TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished up 167. NASDAQ down three. S&P's up three and a half. Gold contract. Gold contract up $2.10 trading at 1297. We had silver up two cents, $15.00. 13 cents, and the news is not that it's uh, up $2, folks. The news uh, inside this gold market, that is, uh, is that what you had out here is that you rejected 1284. Uh, we hit 1284 uh, basically on the open this morning. You're at 1297. You basically rejected lower price. You had lighter volume, and you closed inside the downdraft that had been created out here on the 28th. And that's exactly what gold needed. Why? Because on the 28th, folks, we had come down with 400,000 contracts. Now, what we hadn't done is that you, yeah, 427,000. Now, what we hadn't done is we hadn't bro broken at this low swing uh, of the 1287. Bottom line, you finally broke it. You know, we did break it with lighter volume. Now what you did, you rejected all lower price. You go top side. Silver market, uh, same type of setup, and silver has been the legged out here in a huge way. Uh, there's no two ways about that. What silver also did out here today is that it got some juice behind it. We went from $14.86. You close out at $15.13. Bottom line, that's also, once again, inside the higher range. Uh, silver also went into its strength from December 26th and rejected it. I mean, this is a classic chart, folks. If you want to really understand technicals, Take a look at this chart as well as the gold chart. It's pretty amazing. Uh, silver had gone topside December 26th. The low of that was $14.88. We go to $14.86 today. Reject it. Get back inside the higher range. Big number. Notes and bonds, bottom line is that uh, they're going to need a little more juice. Uh, they climbed a point, point and a half today. That's about it. Uh, they've been re coming into their strength. You came into it with lighter volume. That's what you're looking for when you have something that wants higher price. You know, we had already gone topside. You pull back with lighter volume. Now what we need is some juice behind the move. Uh, King dollar, King dollar basically closed at highs. Um, and that's uh, some heavy divergence out there, I can tell you. Uh, it looks to me uh, that the King dollar is going to basically pull back. But guess what? You have no buyers at the highs. As soon as King dollar pulls back, you have no sellers. We'll see who's going to win this battle. It's been going on since October 24th, folks. Recap out here. Dow finished up 166. NASDAQ down three. S&P's up three. Coming right back.